Here at Foil Arms and Hog, we are more about education than jokes. Mm. So here's a collection of sketches that start with the words how to, because <laughs> we all need to. Because we all need to learn. <laughs> you started really strong. I know, really yeah. going with it. Okay. And it, it, it petered out in a great well, way. Well, I hadn't planned how this. To, oh, no. How to intro a sketch. Yeah. By Conor, Conor McKenna. McKenna. From four hours tonight. Yes. And we're going to kick off the how tos with how to be late for work. I think maybe our favorite how to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. This yes. is, yeah. And this was filmed in our old office. Yeah. They need to do something about that roundabout out there. It's absolutely ridiculous. Did somebody say coffee and donuts? Oh, amazing. Donuts. Yeah, donuts. Yes. You're early. You're an hour late. No, the clocks went backwards. They went forwards. Did they? You're late. <laughs> yeah, pull the Tom, huh? <laughs> Do you remember last week he was late four times? Oh yeah, serious? <laughs> You're late. Am I? God, that's not like me. I am so annoyed at myself for being late. First thing I did, didn't set the alarm clock correctly. Closed the door behind me, what have I done? I've left the keys inside. I am so annoyed at myself that I don't think anyone else needs to be annoyed at me. <sighs> oh. God, is that the time? The, that could... That's, that's not that late, is it? Is it? Seriously? Bumble, wow. That could, no. I'm late. I'm late because I overslept. I was drinking last night. I couldn't hear my alarm clock. It went again a second time, and then I intentionally turned it off, went back asleep again, knowing full well that it would make me late. Any questions? Doomed up. I loved that one, the uh, the quick change, because I used to do it. So I, yeah. you'd arri yeah, arrive into work, <laughs> sneak past the boss, and then like like immediately change, come out with a mug of coffee, <laughs> looking like you're busy. Oh, hello, I didn't notice you there. Next up is how to say sorry. Wait, no, I'm not saying how to say sorry. Without saying sorry. Sorry, sorry. I mean, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. Oh. Guys, you drank the whiskey I was saving for my dad. How to say sorry without saying sorry. The sing song. Sorry. The silly accent. Oh, sorry about that. The mother. Sorry, mom. The big if. I'm really sorry if that annoyed you. The time traveler. If I could go back in time, I would. The bigger picture. No one died. There's people starving in Africa. The politician. It was regrettable. We are where we are. Mistakes were made. Guys, these aren't apologies. It's you, not me. You see, that sort of thing just wouldn't bother me. Half sentences. Was that yours was the... Oh, cause it... You see, we came in last night and we... If... Oh, man. The Irish one. I was just a bit of crack. We were hammered. Guys, for once, can I please just get a genuine apology? Yeah, um, I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry too. Yeah, well, you should be. Doomed up. This next sketch is not offensive at all. Yes, it's called How Not to Offend People. Oh, and it was filmed in my old apartment. Mm. Nostalgia. This yeah. is a great trip down memory lane. Yeah. When you win the award, hold it like this. Not like that. That's lazy. Alex is a PR expert, one of the best. Oh, so let's look at the speech. And the award goes to Seamus Lynch. Thank you. You know, when I was a boy... Stop! What? That's gender discrimination. Oh, really? The Twitterati, they're listening to every word. Um, when I was a young person... Use human. Better to use humanoid. Humanoid? Yeah. When I was young... That's ageist. When I was a humanoid of no specific age... Good. good. I never thought... That's exclusionist. Uh, what? Say we. Uh, we never thought we... It sounds like I've got multiple personality disorder. Trust me. We never thought we would see the day that... <sighs> can't say that. Can't say see? Because, what, some people can't see? No, can't say day because some people don't use a Gregorian calendar. Who? Quakers. Quakers. And you're rubbing it in their face. Hashtag smug. Hashtag Quaker hater. Hashtag calendar prick. But with dogged determination. Whoa, do not mention dogs. Seriously? Cat people. Dog people. Grr. Use animals. Won't plants be offended? It's a risk we're willing to take. But we kept acting, kept auditioning, kept writing. Whoa. Whoa. There are three Ks in that sentence. And? Hashtag KKK. Hashtag calendar prick. Hashtag Klu Klux Quaker hater. 
Let's just move on to the thank you, shall we? Okay. I, uh, we would like to thank. Okay. Our co-star. Good. Kieran Black. Oh. Kieran African American. Better. Yeah. Won't some people be offended by that? You're right. Better say nothing there. Why don't I just say nothing at all? Okay. Let's see what that would look like. With the award. No, it's coming across as racist. Does he look a bit like Hitler? Is that a concern? Okay, I'm mentally putting a moustache on him now. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah he looks like Hitler. Hitler. Yeah. Oh, this was our biggest, biggest, yeah. biggest hit this when it the, came out. The first, the first time something of ours was actually noticed by people on the internet. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah, wasn't it? Was it was a milestone. Yeah. It, yeah. It, when Brennan's bread was a small milestone, yeah. relatively speaking. Then the next was How to Speak Dublin. It was the yeah. first yeah. real viral hit. But nobody had. knew we were in it because you were in disguise. Yeah. And the two of us were yeah, only in it for like a second. Yeah. And Paul Tylock was the main part of it. So mm. Mm. Yeah. But Paul's great. But how many years ago is that now that we did that? Mm. Like 10, 12 years ago? Yeah. And people still come up going, oh, you did the, the Dublin How to Speak. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Mm. Roy, when you make mates with somebody in Dublin, yeah, there's a simple trick to their name. It changes, okay? What you want to do is you drop a syllable and then you add an O. That's all you do, very simple. So let's try it, say, with um, Ramesh, yeah? So that would be Ramesh. All right, so we're going to drop the Ra and we're going to add an O. Mesho. <laughs> do you want to try that? Mesho. Mesho. Uh, so Clement, it would become Clemo. Jorame, you would become Mayo which would then turn into helmets, but don't worry about that now, that's an irregular, all right? Some words in Dublish do be having multiple meanings, such as head, yeah? So, uh, can I get some examples of head? He is a wreck the head. Very good. The head on your man. Spot on. The bleeding head on you? Lovely. I'll batter the head of you. I'll bait the head off you. Very close though, very close. I'll bait the head I'll off bait you. bait the head of you. Any others there people can think of, maybe? No? Oil dance on your bleeding head? Oh, of course. All right, now the pronouns. This can be difficult to some people, all right? Ye, you, yes, you, is, yous, your one, your man, demna. When we try that together, yeah? Ye, ye you, yes, you, is, yous, your one, your, your man, demna. Again, ye, you, yes, you, is. All right, so let me just try that, yeah? Oil I will. will. In me bleeding hole. It's I will in me bleeding hole. I will in my bleeding hole. Very good, let's do that again. I will in my bleeding hole. I'm saying Moy, I want a me. I will in me bleeding hole. Very me hole. So it's bleed, not bleeding. Bleeding hole. I will in me bleeding hole. I will in me bleeding hole. That's how you loosen up, let the shoulders down. Will me bleeding hole. That's how you bit out of tune. Will me bleeding hole. That's very good. Will me bleeding hole. What are you looking at? Go on, yes, sir. What's up with that? Yeah. Go on, sir. Yes. Fuck, sir. Fuck, boost the ladies. Wonderful stuff there. That's very good. That's very good. Fair play to you. Thank you. Wonderful stuff there altogether. This sketch sounds weird. It's called How to Sneak a Peek at Someone. But actually, when we look back at it, I, th I really like it. It's quite useful. It's so silly. It's yeah. quite niche, to be yeah, fair. Very it's niche. a very niche idea. Yeah. But you all do it. On it. You I, all I like do it. it. I like it. I you like know, it. We got something out of something quite niche. All right, well, this is How to Sneak a Peek at Someone. Don't look now. The guy behind you's got bird shit in his hair. Five o'clock. AM or PM? They're the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, get a waiter, uh, in a while. Oh, I dropped my, uh, my, my spoon. Get my spoon. Oh, oh, oh. The physio says there's a shoulder blade problem here and that I still don't have the full alignment of... Go right a bit. Up. Tilt your chin up. Hold it. Oh no, that's me. Oh, the toilets are just over here, are they, yeah? Just take a photo. The flash is on. The flash is on. Excuse me, have you just taken a photo of me? Uh, no. So you notice my glass eye and you think that it's funny. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, there's bird shit in your hair. 
What? Oh, oh not again. Doomed up. This is another one we filmed at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Um, one shot and just based on some old stand-up material I think I had. Oh, really? Yeah, anyway. It's a very important uh, topic. Yeah, it's, it is. It's, it's got to be helpful. Oh, it was based on, I think, a, like a relative of mine who told long, <laughs> winding stories that got... <laughs> But had told me tangents in. Anyway, yeah. I'm rambling. This is how not to tell a story. I was out last Thursday, and I swear to God, I must have had at least 30 points. 30 points? Yeah. That sounds dangerous. Oh, well, like not 30, like four or something like that. But it, but he knew her from college. Yeah. But they didn't realise that. Oh. And so they were sitting at the restaurant right across from each other. Yeah. Oh, did you book the restaurant for tonight? Uh, no, no, we will do it later. Uh, no, we should probably just... Uh, no, 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 what happened in the story next? Uh, Taste of Rome, wasn't it? What? Hang on. No. I just... So the bouncer goes to me, there's no room. I yeah. said, that's absolutely fine. And then for no reason at all, yeah. he grabs me, right, turns me around, yeah. and he's like squeezing me. Uh, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, you know, you it's really sore. What are you doing? I couldn't believe uh, it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, uh. So Brian and Claire walk along the pier, okay? Yeah. And Brian's got the ring in his pocket. Oh, I wasn't supposed to tell you about the ring around the story. And then I went inside, and then I bought my favourite trousers, and then I paid too much for them, and then there was a confusion over the money, and then... I've got something amazing to tell you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, um... Yeah. Uh, it, 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 yeah. What? Ah, oh, fuck, it's gone. What? You had it a second ago. <sighs> so anyway, she ended up being his long lost son or something. It was like a photo from the war that kind of linked the... T uh, well, something like what? And he was so drunk, he came home, opened the fridge and ate the entire birthday cake. I told you that story last week. Did you? You'll never guess what Brian did when he came in last Saturday night. Oh, oh, what was it? What did you do? Guess. What? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. What, what was it? Guess. Um, could could have been anything. It, uh, hmm. it, he fell. He fell from the coming. Nope. Out. Doomed up. Lads, 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 lads. This is how to be a lad. <laughs> this was a, originally a stage sketch that yeah. never made it. Oh, it? yeah. And then yeah. it just so, became, um, oh, yeah. it didn't work on stage, so no. we hope it works on film. Yeah. You tell us. Hey, so who's it we're meeting tonight? Is it your pals from school? The lads from school, but yeah, we better get going. I'm just going to change. What's wrong with what you're wearing? It's a new jumper. So? I can't wear a new jumper to meet the lads. Why not? Because they'll slag me. For having a new jumper. Oi, new jumper. Look at him in his new jumper. Well, that's ridiculous. No, it's fair game. I'd expect the same if I had a new pair of runners, got a haircut, or was wearing anything deliberately fashionable. Well, they sound like bullies. Gerald, have you never hung out with lads before? Apparently not. Okay, we're gonna need to go through the basics. First of all, how are you at making this noise? Whoa, hey! Whoa, hey! Now, you would use that noise if someone is mean to someone else, says something filthy, or if they drop a glass. Whoa, hey! How are you feeling? Uh, not bad, actually. I wasn't feeling great. Grand. What? It doesn't matter how you feel, you're grand. You're happy, you're grand. You're sad, you're grand. Well, that's unhealthy. Yeah, it's grand. What's that? Well, you asked me to bring booze. Well, you can't bring that. Take these. A bag of cans. You're gonna have to lose the hat and the scarf. I could catch a cold. And untie your top button. Well, this is ridiculous. I mean, if people were more accepting of who they were instead of this macho BS. Oh, never offer an opinion. You'd be eaten alive. So only open my mouth if it's to put somebody else down. Pretty much. If you have to talk, you can talk about films. Oh, cool. Not the French Film Festival, Gerald. And if the conversation strays into books for some reason, only admit to reading, like, Stephen Gerrard's autobiography. Yes, or anything but Jeremy Clarkson. Well, they sound like a lovely bunch. They are, individually. I just think all the funding is in the wrong places, you know what I mean? Would you look at this, lads? Mr. Opinions over here. <laughs> Whoa, hey! <laughs> hey, everyone! He got a new jumper today! Oh, <laughs> new jumper! Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, have you read this? It's supposed to be very good. Doomed up! Lads! 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 Why are there- why is there big gaps in between? It's quicker. Lads! Lads! No, quicker! Just to put them together, all the words. Lads, lads, lads! Yes! Lads, 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 lads! Yeah, we're getting there. Lads, 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 lads! Lads, 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 lads! Hook! Gerald, we need to talk, okay? The lads are coming over. Oh great, you could tell them about your promotion. The lads don't want to know about that. Won't they be happy for you? No, Gerald, they won't. Okay. Here, park my car around the back. Why? It's too new. What's going on? Look, it's crucial that we give the lads absolutely nothing they can slag me about. All right. Anyway, I got snacks. Oh, thank you so much. Stuffed peppers, olives, a selection of hard cheeses. Jesus, Gerald, where's the frozen pizzas? You said your friend Shane was a chef. And tonight, he's a lad. 
So what are we going to do with them tonight? Charades? Cards Against Humanity? No organising at all. What are we going to do for three hours? Slagging. Slagging? Yeah. Sean's bald, David's red hair, and Peter's girlfriend just broke up with him. It's just those three jokes on repeat. You can't slag Peter for getting dumped. It's lads. We gave him a week off, and now it's fair game. So just slagging them for three hours. And stories. Oh, like the time we got lost at the Dalky Book Festival. No, I told them we were fishing in the canal. What? How'd you get on with those dicks? Pretty good. I did about 50 of them. Oh yeah, okay, they look good. Uh, what are you going to wear tonight? I'm wearing my plainest, most boring, least slaggable jumper. No, you idiot! We're going into town after! Everyone has to wear white shirts! Kel surprise. Gerald, do not use any other language apart from basic English, okay? Lads do not like betterment. Chill. Don't say chill. Chillax? No! Cool of the jets. Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> They're here. Okay, um, oh, put the toilet seat up. Put your hole in the living room wall. Pre press play on Mr. Brightside and... What's that smell? It's my mint and lavender diffuser. Oh, Jesus Christ, open a window! Doomed up! Okay, we filmed a really good physical scene in this next one, based around... <laughs> but like, that's, yeah, it's an odd... It's a strange sketch. Strange sketch. It probably didn't hit the mark, but like, there's fully in it. Look, yeah. not like, everyone yeah, yeah. in this compilation is going to be a zinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you've watched yeah, right. it this far, yeah, yeah. you might as well keep um, going. Yeah, yeah. This that's is, where we're coming from. Some people, some people said Monopoly, lads, really? That's a bit old. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe they're right. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe they're right. This is How to Destroy a Family. Every year, families are torn apart. I had to sell the house. Are you happy? Uh, Jesus, Donna, I don't make the rules. No, you just roll the dice and hope for the best. I'm Relationships destroyed forever. I am not going to play this game with you anymore. You are a dirty cheat. Oh, come on. You waited till I was in jail and that's when you made your move. It could be happening next door. You took everything. The car, the dog, even the bloody wheelbarrow. You might think it could never happen to me. Just give me a chance. Until it unfolds in front of you. This year. I'm not like you, okay? I can't just pack it away into a nice neat little box and just forget about it. Say no. Ah, uh, here we go. The waterworks. To Monopoly. You win. Are you happy? You win. I haven't played this in ages. I know. I can't remember why we stopped. No. I've always hated yeah, you. You're the reason that Dad died. Oh, come on then. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Ah. You just wouldn't get that problem with Rami Cup. Doomed up. We liked this one. Uh, it had a... <laughs> <laughs> we like so little of our work. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. High standards there, I suppose. This is a ridiculous idea. Yeah. Yeah. About, um, your, wouldn't your problems seem so insignificant if you had impending death? on yeah. your doorstep. Yeah. But there's also a phone number in it that was a real working phone number oh, yeah. for two days. Yes. And I was answering the phone yeah. after the sketch went live. Yeah. Whatever, Ryan was like, I'm going to ring that number. And they did, like, in their tens. And I was, I was, <laughs> I was, I was like, uh, You were in the cafe, like, yeah. answering the phone. Answer Hello, worry. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, worry protection company, yeah. They're going to deal you there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. don't know if that number has now passed on to somebody else since so we've stopped sorry. using it. Sorry. Yeah. Um, don't ring it for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> this is how to stop worrying. Have you lots of different worries? Wouldn't you like to consolidate all these worries into just one manageable worry? At the Worry Protection Company, our team of large threatening men will track you down and present a constant threat to your life, making it virtually impossible to worry about anything else. Yeah, it seemed daunting at first, but there's something to it. I mean, who cares about the gas bill when you've got a gun to your head? We all worry about something. Global warming, Brexit, that mole on your back, passing your exams, and what people are saying about you since you left the WhatsApp group. All these worries can be consolidated into just one overwhelming worry. It's today bin day. I think I forgot to put the bins out. And <laughs> like that, I don't even care. Studies have shown that the threat of imminent violence really focuses the mind. I used to be worried about everything. From my pension to would the neighbour cut his side of the hedge, but not anymore. Now I am only worried about getting shot in the face. Let your worries drift away in a sea of mortal fear. Having to write a best man speech was really keeping me up at night. But this has really put things in perspective. So don't spend long nights worrying. Call the number on screen now. And we'll give you something to worry about. Doomed up! Boy, how can I help? This next one uh, has a soft spot, I think, with us. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's brilliant. Us, yeah. It, it, it's amazing, this sketch. It, it, it's one flaw is that I'm not in it. <laughs> you uh, got to watch it, though. You yeah. didn't know what it I, was. I wasn't around that yeah. week. I was actually yes, you were away. off. And uh, I really liked it. This is brilliant. Whoever the person who <laughs> hasn't, isn't arrived on the shoot day, um, you get either slagged or the two people will buy lunch and uh, they won't tell you. Well, I, was, like the rules. I, I felt good because I was expecting terrible things, obviously. It but was. luckily the lads pulled it out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, you. I love that. Anyway, well, we won't you know? spoil the jokes, but this is how to invigilate an exam. I don't know, Pat. I'm really 
nervous. I've never been an exam invigilator before. Yeah, I'll teach you everything you need to know. Thanks. Now, if you see a student is about to raise their hand, immediately turn your back and walk to the far end of the hall. When handing out the paper, don't forget the time-honoured invigilator tradition of the finger lick. You want to leave some residue on the page. What is this? A regular clock. Mm. <laughs> but what is it now? An exam clock. I want you to walk slowly towards me. Stop. What's on your feet? These? You'll need these. Observe. Roll the heel, flick the toe. Roll the heel, flick the toe. An average invigilator should hit 20,000 steps per exam. Another important technique is to pick a random student, walk up behind them, and hover. When they look up, walk away. Now, have you got a cold? A cold? No. Get one. A good invigilator clears their throat every four seconds. Okay. <clears throat> yes? For the listening test, write this down. You get your speaker and you see these knobs here? You want to turn them all to max. Press play for me there. The voice. Let's hear it. Okay, folks, the exam will finish no, it. No, in a way of it. needs to be bigger. It needs to incite fear. The exam will finish in 10 minutes. Yes. 10 minutes remaining. Yes, very good. Oh, I think I'm ready to invigilate. From the top. Yes. Good. <clears throat> 10 minutes remaining. Yes. <clears throat> Pens down. Oh, yes. Please remain seated. Doomda. Gentlemen, according to this latest hospital's review, there are failings across the health service, okay? Mm -hmm. And we need to fix them, but cheaply. Mm -hmm. yeah. First off, we need to get patients off trolleys and into beds. Okay, question, how many people can you fit in a standard single bed? One? Can we do double beds? Yeah. Now you're talking. What about bunk beds? <laughs> Even better. Yeah. I Next. A and E is completely overcrowded. Okay, question, how many people can you fit in a standard single chair? I mean, can we stack people horizontally? I think let's give it a go. Why yeah. not? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, doctors overworked and they can't get around to see all their patients. Okay, here, I was thinking on this. Instead of the doctors going to the patients, why don't we get the patients to go to them? Well, that would free up some beds. Yeah. Now, if some of the patients can't walk... Right, well, they'll just have to get their diagnosis over the intercom. Yeah, or by text message. Mm, sad face. Lol. Look, the hospital's broke. You know, we need to get some money. Yeah. Ideas. Again, yeah. yeah, I had something here. Why don't we increase parking rates by 400%? Do you know, I think we can shave a foot or two off the parking space itself. Yes. Let's charge bedpans by weight. The same should go for new babies. Mm -hmm. And we should increase the opening at the back of hospital gowns by 75%. Saving on fabric. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Group x-rays. How would that work? I, I don't know, back to back? Uh, well, I like it. Yeah. Now, it is costing us 5000 a day just to heat the hospital. Yeah, okay, well how about we put all the, the patients with temperatures in the one room and turn off the heating? So that's great. Excellent, I like it. Okay, but I feel like these are great ideas, but we need to discourage people from coming to the hospital in the first place. You're talking like a deterrent. Yeah. Yes, like, yeah. why don't we rename accident and emergency... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. What, what about we replace oral medication with suppositories? Mm, we could increase the smell of nondescript dinners in the hospital by 20%. Mm. What about we increase the smell of detergent by 80%? You know, to give it that authentic hospital, stingy nostril vibe. Yes, and from now on, the waiting room only plays Morrissey. Mm -hmm. Night nurses must wear squeaky footwear at all times. And spread all the annoying patients around. You know, I want one thunder snorer in each ward. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, well, finally, we've been avoiding this one, you know, but the waiting lists, I mean, they're way too long. Yeah. Smaller font. Yes. That could work. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, well, where does that leave us? Okay. I mean, it looks like we might actually turn a profit. Excellent. Why don't we take all the extra money and conduct another review? Yeah. Lunch? Yeah, but not here. It's gross. Doomed up. What are you doing? I've got an audition in like an hour, but the, the part is amazing. It's for the role of the bad guy. Oh, a villain. I love a good villain. Yeah, I know, right? Would you mind helping me rehearse, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that'd yeah, be yeah. great. Look, mm -hmm. okay, so if you just read for the hero, uh, it starts just there. Yeah, okay. You ready? Oh, it's you. I should have known. <laughs> You fell right into my trap. What was that? You you didn't like that? Um, what even accent was that? Well, that was like an, like an evil accent. An evil accent? Yeah, ah, uh, 
No. That's a probably a bit obvious, maybe. You know. Okay. Wait, 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 here. Try this. Okay. Y- yeah. Okay. And you fell right into my trap. German. Seriously, it's almost yeah. offensive to use a German accent as oh. a baddie these days. I could do Russian. No, no Russian, no Eastern European, no Middle Eastern, no, no Northern Irish, not even English. But they're the classic baddies. They're stereotypes. Oh, okay. Go with something unexpected. Oh, okay, hey, what about Cork? You fell right into my trap. Let's go off accents for the moment. Just uh, yeah. think more volume. Volume? Volume, yeah, okay. yeah. Baddies these days, they speak softly. You know, oh. it's scarier. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 ready? Okay. <laughs> you fell right into my trap. Okay, but slower, you know? Slower. You're evil, you speak slowly. Okay. <laughs> you fell right... Okay, now throw a random pause in there and hit a consonant real hard, anyone. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you... Right. Now don't even look at him. Don't, don't, don't look even look. Yeah, focus on the mundane, something insignificant, like a, a pen. Oh, what's that piece of dirt? Can I borrow a mug? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, okay. Right. okay. I'll just get into it. Yes. You fell right into my trap. Okay, now look at him. Smile. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Well, man, I'm feeling better about this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What, okay. What are you wearing? I got all black in this wig. Way too obvious. Okay. You think more subtle. You know. Yeah. Why not a bright color? You're sure about this? Oh, one hundred percent. I feel yeah. way more confident now. This is uh, yes. Oh, add a tick. A tick. A facial tick. You got to add one of them. Okay. Okay. Will do. All right, Tom. Uh, in your own time, take it away. Okay. <laughs> You fell right into my trap. Okay, brilliant, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you everyone for coming in. Uh, but we're going to go with Dennis for the part of Count Eviloff in the children's Christmas musical. <laughs> you fell right into my trap. Doomda. The last, that's them that's all. everything. You should know everything now. You've, you've learned yeah. everything. The next up, it's over to you. It's how to subscribe to our oh, channel. Yeah. If, well, if they haven't it after 30 minutes of this. Please. Beep, beep, it's easy. Little button. Beep, beep. Hey, do, do not. not.